when uh, our volumes and staffing uh, warranted it, that we would create a triage center in front of our main ER and a respiratory evaluation center. When cars drive to Chris's Good Shepherd emergency room, they'll now approach a drive through temp without having to leave their car. Hospital staff will then figure out where they need to be sent. That could mean going straight to the emergency room, their off-site respiratory evaluation center, or to their urgent care center. We have people that are showing up by vehicle and by foot traffic that, that may not be true emergencies. So they're being evaluated outside by a care delivery team, which includes a physician, to determine what is the true nature of their visit. For those that need serious attention, they'll be sent to the correct area after being evaluated and won't be in the outside area. One of the goals is to make everything more efficient. We've been at this for, you know, 20 months, so we, we're, we're pretty uh, prepared for all eventualities. Streamlining the process is important, but the hospital hopes to add more staff to help with the current surge. In January, when our volumes peaked, uh, we had you know, hundreds of nurses provided by the state. The governor is trying to ramp that up. It's, it's, it's going um, uh, you know, a little slower than, than we were hopeful of, but we're getting there. You know, we're, we're starting to get staff. Hancock says they're in daily contact with the state, and even though they want more staff, he says they do have enough people to handle the current surge. We've got you covered East Texas. Matt Lackwitz, CBS 19.